Yeah, honey, it's me. Daddy, come out and eat. Okay. I'm trying to keep things warm for you. That is what's left. Tell you the truth, honey, I'm not very hungry. How about a cup of coffee? Huh? What's the matter? Rough day? Another day like today, and they'll be looking for a new foreman in the shipping department. That's bad, huh? Well, maybe not. But it's not good. And one darn thing after another, all day long. How come? Oh, no. Seems like I can't depend on anybody to do the job anymore. Not even Al. Al Weatherly? Yeah. You know how long he's been with us. He knows our operation inside out. But what do I have to do? Check on every single thing he does. I've heard you say that before. But why? I don't know. This doesn't do his job quite right. He stops just that far short of doing a good job. Well, what happened? Well, we get this special order from one of our biggest customers. So, I make a point of looking Al up to tell him about it. Start to find out. Al? Hey. Yeah, Joe? This can order from Brown Brothers. Now, it's pretty special. There's 800 gross. And I don't want any tie-ups, Al. Now, I want you to do two things for me. I want you to check those special labels for Brown Brothers. Plenty of labels, plenty of them. How do you know? I used them yesterday. Now, how many did you use? Oh, about six rolls. Plenty of them left. Well, if you use six rolls, Al, there's no 800 left. Now, you check and see if I'm not right. And listen, I want you to count those corrugated boxes. Don't guess at them, but count them and make sure. Yeah? Okay. I'll check back with you later, if I have time, and see how you made out. Okay. Check her upper. Well, what happened? We were 200 boxes short. I got tied up and didn't check back, and he got tied up and didn't check at all. Stuff's still sitting there. Well, what did he say? Well, said he was sorry. Said he got tied up on another rush job and forgot about it. But you told him how important it was. Well, he had an answer for that, too. Said I'd checked on everything he'd ever done for years anyway, and figured I'd do it this time. <laughs> That's Al for you. I guess I should have checked. And Cora's just as bad. I have to check on everything that girl does. I'm through checking these reports now. Shall I take them on up? Mr. Crawford said he wanted them right after lunch. Uh, no, Cora. Put them, put them down over there. I'll take them up later myself. Don't you ever have confidence in what I do? Certainly, Cora. Certainly. Most of the time I do. It's just that... Well, I, I wanted to check these reports myself, that's all. Well, the trouble was, I didn't get to it. I thought I would, but I didn't have time. And then something else came up. And then the fire inspector came by. And, of course, I had to be showing him through the plant when the boss came looking for me. Something wrong, Mr. Crawford? Looks like we need your help, Joe. We can't find a shipping order. I'm sorry, Mr. Crawford. I'm just showing the fire inspector around. Fire inspector? Couldn't somebody else show him around? Oh, yeah, I suppose so, but I just like to be careful who I send with him. If somebody says the wrong thing, up goes our fire insurance rates. Well, what I really wanted to see you about was that carload of goods for general products. This wire came in about an hour ago. Stuff isn't there yet. This is the load I had you figure, Hollis. Where's the shipping order? I gave it to you this morning. You must have it somewhere. Couldn't find it? No. We looked there. We checked that, too. Here it is. I, I just haven't had a chance to put it away yet. This isn't right, Hollis. 
You've got that stuff due in there tomorrow. Even for allowing splitting of the loads in Mobile and Columbus, the stuff ought to have been there yesterday. Mobile? Didn't go Mobile. I think I know what happened, Mr. Crawford. Yeah. They shipped the stuff to Northern Route, Hollis. Takes two days longer that way. Well, why didn't you route this shipment yourself, Joe? You knew it was urgent. Well, I was squeezed for time, Mr. Crawford. I, I asked Hollis if he thought he could do it. He's used the rate book a couple of times before. Yeah, but I didn't know there were two ways the shipment could go. Well, get on it, Joe. Find out for sure when it gets there and let me know. I'll have to call him and give him some kind of an explanation. Oh, are uh, these are the reports I wanted right after lunch? Yes. Why didn't you get them up to me? Well, I, I wanted to check them over first myself, Mr. Crawford. I just didn't have time. Well, can't somebody else do some of these things? I'll get them up to you before I leave, Mr. Crawford. Well, OK, Joe. <laughs> One thing for sure, I can't do it all myself. On the other hand, you give somebody a job to do and they don't do it. Why is it I can't depend on people?